Hello there. Like usually in the car driving. Today is a little different day. My feelings are kind of like, you know, in a shaky situation, like the camera, right? Shaky. <laughs> Because uh, they like today, September 10, four years ago, is when I split from my husband, is when all the divorce process started. And actually, is when my husband tried to struggle me. And that's when all the divorce and all these processes started. So, every year when it's September 10, you know, I feel my heart mm, like this and sometimes it's hard to get over things, you know. You heal, things pass, but it's still, you know, it's like leaving a scar, a scar in you, right? It's like this scar I have here and remind me every time, you know. It's kind of like that, no matter how much time pass by, Still, you know, this is a car. And I don't know. It, it's impossible. <laughs> I told a, a, friend, a friend from work, I told her, I said, hey, you know what? Today is September 10th. And four years ago is when all that happened. And he tried to strike on me. And oh my God, I was just remembering that, you know. And she said, why do you remember that? I said, well, you know. help me you know because when you talk about stuff it's like you relieve right you relieve all that before I was never able to talk about it but with time you know in the process of healing and when you accept what happened and when you accept situations yes you know then it becomes easier to talk about it because before under any circumstances I wouldn't be recording this video and talking about what I went through and all that so it wouldn't happen in the past but now it's like it's okay you know it's okay before it was even like embarrassing talking about it and but now it's like well things happen I know I did my best. I know I tried to make my marriage to survive. And you know, some things I guess meant to be, you know. I mean I mean it meant not to be, right? <laughs> and the hard part, you know, every time I think about it, I think the hardest part for me. I don't want to cry. Oh. I don't want to cry <laughs> but the hardest part is when I think about my daughter you know not even for me for me it's more I accept it but for my daughter uh, I don't know some people say that I'm too hard on myself that uh, I shouldn't be too hard on me but sometimes I think you know if I would have done things different and provide like a normal home you know mom dad daughter but uh i couldn't it was 15 years and you know it got and actually that's why it got to the point you know it got to the point of domestic violence because i keep tolerating things and that's the mistake you know if you ever go through anything like that my advice is stop before it gets too far because 
things were already broken there was a lot of argument there was a lot of problems you know but my mom and dad they were married for 47 years until my dad passed away so I never really thought about getting divorced I always thought no I'm gonna make it through I'm gonna keep going I know I can this marriage can survive but then in order to start avoiding arguments you start tolerating things and you start you know just you let the other person put the foot on top of you and that may be a problem you know because then things start to escalate to the point that they really really control you but for me at some point because before I used to argue a lot and then later on and you know trying well maybe if I don't argue too much and then I just start to let things go by and try not to argue or like I said before swallow everything and that may be not a good thing because then you are giving power to the other person and the other person is just keep doing it and even getting worse to the point that yeah then start to escalate and become like domestic violence you know so my advice my friend if anybody watch this my mistake I should never let it go to that point you know because once things start escalating and the and your partner feels like it's in total control and you are not doing anything back and you just tolerate and accept everything is when they you know they exactly at 8 a.m. even though the court because there's many other people in front of you was like I don't know 1 2 p.m. yeah something like that because I remember they brought the lunch for, for me and then uh, but I have to go to the bathroom and I'm not lying I went to the bathroom probably like eight times and I was kind of like embarrassed because I don't want to keep going to the bathroom because every time you go to the bathroom somebody has to escort you so one of the ladies from there from the courtroom that work there they have to go with you and i wasn't even drinking water nothing but every time i just have to go and use the bathroom but it's because of the nerves in my body you know i just keep going and using the bathroom and every time i went to the bathroom <laughs> i did i did so it's like i don't know and i told her i said i'm so sorry i don't even drink any water but she said i
but all those things is like I said I have to believe I have to believe that there's something in this world bigger than us really and that can like open my eyes too because before that I was too technical I always try to find an explanation for everything so it was kind of like hard for me to be spiritual or religious because it's like how can this be and you know always trying to find an explanation but when I went through all that and I start to see all kind of things and I even googled about it and other people have similar experience and I found that so kind of like fascinating like oh my gosh it's like it opened my eyes and from that moment you know it's like I can tell you I'm a believer there's a creator there's someone bigger than us because too many things is like it cannot be so much coincidence because I always try to find an explanation and even I told my brother because he is even more technical than me he always trying to find if this happened is because of this or that or this and, you know always an explanation and even he was like that's weird I said I know and all I can think is you know there's something bigger than us and I truly believe in God and if you have to go through really hard situations in life I recommend that you really believe
being lazy. I was rubbing a pizza out of the oven and all I have to do is just go and walk a few steps and grab a tool or grab a, a cloth and just get it out of the oven. But no, I was lazy. I said, hey, I can get it like that. And then I started like, oh, like pulling it out like this, like this. And then when it was already close to the edge, I thought, okay, I can grab it now. So I grab it and then I lift my hand and I just stick my hand to the